Watch and see how Nisam Wika demolished an Igbo businessman's real estate property in Asokoro Abuja, saying how can an Igbo man own such properties in Abuja? Igbos are not safe in Nigeria. The persecution of Igbo people continues unabated. The freedom of Biafra is our only hope. But the truth is, no matter how you try to suppress Igbos in Nigeria, they will still remain on top in Nigeria, economically and otherwise. It is in our destiny. No one can change it. May God bless, protect, preserve, heal and free our great leader, Mazinam Dikanu. Watch the video. A developer of a multi-billion naira property near Asokoro has called on President Bola Tinobu's intervention following its demolition by the FCT administration. The property, which sits on a 214 hectare plot, was said to have been pulled down without any other of revocation issued by the authorities of the FCT. It marks the first major demolition by the Inyesom Wiki administration. On Wednesday morning, scores of armed security operatives, including soldiers, policemen, and civil defense, surround the 214 hectare property near Sokoro, where multiple luxury duplexes are being developed. After about six hours, the buildings, some of which had got to lintel level, and the fence are all pulled down and left in a heap of rubble. The property is owned by one of the foremost private developers in Abuja, Praku Nigeria Limited, led by Linus and Nicholas Ukachuku. Ukachuku claims the demolition was done in bad faith. We get called for a meeting over the land. We went with our documents. After I see what we have with our lawyer and the other people's other the sunrise, which they get part of that land. And we can say that there is nothing on this that uh, the court should take effect. After going around the land, his normal ways of behavior, he started shouting, how would they take this all this land and give to Igbo man? According to him, all the legal titles of the property had been obtained, including two ministerial approvals, the latest from the Ashwal FCT minister, Bello Mohammed. They went through all due process, including ministerial approval. We have full final title, certificate and offer. A certificate of occupancy. Yes, offer to certificate of occupancy. Most alarming, according to him, is that there was no order revoking his rights to the property before the demolition took place. As I'm talking to you now, we are not receiving any documents. All these things, we saw only what we saw, the demolition. The title has not been revoked. We have not been served. Ukachiku also insists the action of the minister of the FCT runs contrary to two pending court orders restraining any action by the FCT on the plot of land. Two separate court, each with different court order, restraining him from tampering or doing anything in those uh, property. But all of a sudden today, we cannot move all, all the caterpillars in Abuja. I went and started pulling those properties that we have invested billions into, done. He wants President Tinubu to wade into the matter to protect the rights of genuine investors and businessmen. Call him Mr. President, who I know that has nothing to do with the tribe, to call on the bridge, either he removed this man 